<laughs> right. I don't even know what the date is. It's the 9th, isn't it, today? 9th of February. It's Wednesday night, which means Janine's night. And what a roller coaster of a week I've been having. How's yours going, Janine? Oh, I agree. It's been an absolute roller coaster. Actually, from Friday till now, it's just been nuts. Every day, it's like, Absolutely. And um, I've been listening to some different stuff and it's going to come out in the questions. I've had some really good okay. questions sent in by listeners, some of which I'm not aware of what's happening in their country. And I was speaking to, to some of my friends today and saying it's unbelievable that two years in and for like us in the UK, we're getting no real news from other countries at all really nothing we can trust at all so the only way that we know a lot of these things are happening are by the listeners messaging me and emailing me in isn't that shocking it is shocking and I can't believe more people aren't noticing and commenting they're okay to just live in their little bubble I guess why well, don't they know you see you can't you don't ask a question that, that you're not aware that there's even something going on Wow. But they, they're not hearing about anything from other countries. That wouldn't make any sense to me. If, I think if I was, you would hope I would notice. I hope I'd notice. I mean, well, I don't watch mainstream, but. Yeah, exactly. It is just really weird. So like here in the UK, if we weren't having these conversations and I wasn't on Telegram or watching the people we've all been watching for the last few years, we would be completely oblivious that there's a, a trucker rally going on in Canada. Yep. Yeah, we that's have true. no idea. So the fact that it might help waking people up abroad is not waking anyone up here because people who aren't on Telegram and watching all the stuff yep. that we're watching are completely have no idea that this is even happening. Wow. Bizarre, isn't it? So yeah. first question for Dave, we've got a really good selection for you all tonight from lots of different countries, folks. So thank you for emailing me in. But the first one today, the breaking news on the mainstream media that Boris Johnson here has said that he plans to remove all remaining restrictions a month early, provided that the current encouraging trends in the data continue. Now, I'm afraid I have got, call me a sceptic, I'm not despair, I'm not going away from good news, folks. So please don't think that I'm not grateful for any new news. But I don't trust it because I'm also yes. seeing the other news that's following it up. And I'm also seeing in the UK behind the scenes that most normal people would have no idea about that they're trying to push through legislation to take even more of our rights away, pushing mm -hmm. through digital currency, pushing through digital cra um, tr uh, tracking, etc. So yeah. can we ask the cards, is this really as good as it seems? Or is it helping to distract people so that this legislation gets passed without people knowing about it? Wow. Okay, so it's it's meant to, uh, it's definitely a distraction because this seven of swords, so that's a, it's a ploy or a, um, you know, strategy. And then this, because they want you to look over there, okay? But this is interesting, not for the reason you think, mm. for a really positive reason, because something's about to happen that looks like it takes us in a completely different direction that's good for the world and has nothing to do with what we've been dealing with. Yeah. Well, I'm hoping, Janine, perhaps we can follow up and ask the cards this then. So at the moment, there's quite a bit of concern about this legislation. It's not just in the UK, other countries are doing this. So behind, without, and, and quite honestly, Janine, before this pandemic I wouldn't have been looking at what legislation was being passed I wouldn't have had a clue in the UK I, yep. unless yep. it had to do with fox hunting or badger culling I didn't really pay much attention so is it a red herring because all the governments are going to be removed so even if the they're trying to put this legislation through now if they're being puppeted by it, is it irrelevant because none of the legislation will remove if the whole governmental structure of the countries change so how i'm asking it in my head 
is, is that legislative things that they're trying to push through dangerous for us? Or is it actually going to be just let go? Well, I'd rather ask, is it, is it, if it's all right with you, yep. are the whole government structures going to go there for all the okay. legislation? That might be clearer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. this popped out. This flew out. That's wow. a big yes. That's a, the biggest yes card ever. Oh my goodness, surrender, surrender. They're, they've capitulated. Okay, I've been getting that for a really long time. I really believe that. That Honestly, if that doesn't happen, like we're hooped. Yeah, we are, right? we are. So I'm really happy that I do consistently get that and I really hope it's true, but I, I've been consistently getting that. Yes, you have. So that's that's why I'm saying it. I mean, and honestly, yeah, we all of that would if they the, really those things were going through, they're so devious. But I think it's it's a way to show us how devious these guys are. Mm. And now we're all paying attention. Like we're actually paying attention to things. Like you said, you would have never paid that attention. This stuff's been going on. Some people have been paying attention for 20 years. I've been hearing like Guy, the guy that produces Tarot by Janine, like in the background, he puts it all together. Okay. He has been telling me for years, okay, they're, they're doing this, this, and this. You wouldn't believe how they snuck this in. And he watches everything like that. They've been yeah. doing this. That's why we have as few rights as we do and why they've got away with what they've got away with. Exactly. Uh, the, in the last two years is so that if it wasn't for the Alliance stepping in, and if that is true that they're stepped in, and I believe they have, but if it wasn't for that, we would be completely screwed. Completely. And I think, and, and that's why I've got my Liz Olive, her shop there, born for a time like this. Remember guys, we are yeah. all born for a time like this. So I, I personally think, and I know you said it a lot, that this is yep. not the time to take our foot off the pedal. Yep. We've no, 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 no. Yeah. Got, you got to stay five on course and not let them yep. get away with any of this any longer. Yeah. And let, let, so I believe the, uh, in the background, the Alliance is collecting data on what are we doing? And yeah. I think you're doing it with kind of off world or a higher evolved help. Okay. So, I, I think, you know, what people call that 17th letter of the alphabet or whatever, I believe that might have been an intelligence and yeah. partly human, but also an, there's an intelligence working in the background and they're watching how we learn and grow. Yeah. Literally in a quantum leap for humanity. That's what I think. And so we have to stay diligent and yelling about everything and pay attention and good boundaries. And it's like being in a bad relationship when you want to learn your way out of it. I've counseled so many people through bad relationships. And sometimes what I counsel them is stop being so unconditionally loving. Mm. Okay. And that's a real trait of the feminine, by the way. So women and men that have a lot of feminine energy, it's beautiful. It's beautiful and it's good to be unconditionally loving. But if you're trying to get out of a relationship that brutalizes you, which is what's happening and takes advantage of you at every, in every way, you have to learn to be a warrior. To be on the earth plane is not just one-sided. Everybody thinks, oh, if I just learn to be loving and spiritual, you already came from loving and spiritual. Your soul is innately loving and spiritual, most of us not all of us, but most of us. Okay. So you, sometimes you have to learn other traits. Like if you don't have an ego for no reason, there's a reason that ego exists. It's to protect you. Uh, and right now yeah. we've been brutalized, taken advantage of, and uh, we've been bending over, bending over, just like in a bad relationship, time to say no and absolutely stand our ground. And I've literally counseled women through that and men when they've been in bad relationships and how to how to do it and uh it's important and we're doing it we're all doing it as a human race we're doing it to our governments and all our systems yeah it's really really important so i don't reason i raise that is i don't want people to think oh it's all right this is you know we keep reiterating the point that just because we hope all this is happening in the background it yep. doesn't mean that that absolves us as individuals of personal yep. responsibility yep. for creating the future that we want to create. It's really, really important because. So just before we leave the UK, so Scotland, oh, my God, little 
Hang on. Awful Angela Sturgeon. Um, Nicola Sturgeon, not Angela. Um, so they are still, the children are still having to work there. So they've still got the past. So I know we've looked into her before, but is she rebelling against the... Because again, there's a, I think the general consensus is none of this is waking anyone new up. So I just wonder, is Nicola Sturgeon rebelling against the White Hats? Wow. Uh, no, she's getting totally puppeted in the background. So that's wild. Maybe that's for the rest of us watching and not just the school. Like they seem to have picked these. See, look at all of this. So she's being told what to say. Mm. None of those cards are about her. It's not about her. She's being told what to say. Everything she says out her mouth was handed to her. So she capitulated. So she's puppeted. Absolutely. Mm. Um, it, it may be for other people watching. So there's areas. And I don't know why they, like, I'm not... I couldn't possibly, if I was in, if I was a white hat or an alliance person, mm -hmm. I would never be able to choose areas you're going to be harder on. That would be so hard to do. Yeah. I don't know why they do it. Maybe they think the Scots can put up with it and or are so strong they can deal with it. I don't know. Mm. Uh, but my heart goes out to them. I feel like they also did it to parts of Canada and Australia. Yeah. And then, of course, there's little pockets in Europe that are really oh, horrendous. We're going to come on to that. I mean, again, you know, for us in the UK, when I've had all these emails coming from other places, I'm like, yeah. God, I had absolutely no idea yeah. we're going through that. So now, Scots, up your kyber, lift your kilts up, show them what you've got. <laughs> I know it's cold, but you know you yep. can always do it. We know how to have the stop Scots yep. up. Yeah, so, they're gonna have to take some pointers from those truckers. Exactly, exactly. Yep. So SpaceX, so Elon Musk, SpaceX has confirmed that a geomagnetic storm has destroyed most of the Starlink satellites it launched last Friday. So at least 40 out of the 49 launched last Friday have been destroyed by a geomagnetic storm. So could we ask the cards, what's the significance of this? This is interesting. Uh, it, it could be exaggerated what they're saying, because that card exaggerates and fakes it till you make it. And this card's devious and has a, uh, an agenda. They're hiding behind their cloak, all kinds of things. So in, including maybe the real reason why they're saying that. So there's a reason why they're saying that, but it's not maybe literal. Okay, it does look like they had a setback and a disappointment, but I don't think to the tune of. Uh, my feeling about Elon is everything gets really exaggerated. Uh, and I think he, 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 could, he could be an interesting character. And uh, haven't we looked at him? He's sort yeah, of been- I mean, it looks like he's flicking backwards and forwards, but Nick yeah. Aldea from Good Lion TV, who I really like, he's a good friend yeah. of mine, he makes the most amazing films. He did a really good interview yesterday with Michael Jaco. Yep. And he's just released. If anyone wants to go, I'll put the link below on his okay. Good Mind TV. There's a really good little couple of minutes video on Elon Musk. And it's not pretty watching at all. Um, and just shows like most of the big characters in this, their yep. whole background is completely made up. Oh, yeah, that that makes sense. Yeah, I know a lot of those guys' backgrounds are made up. Okay, see that ace there? That was in the past. So they had a really big reason for, like there's something behind what they're doing. And it might not have anything to do with the thing itself. And it looks largely exaggerated, the news. But they did have some setbacks, but nothing like what they're purporting. I wonder if it has something to do with money uh, money he could get back, money he could like uh, 
people investing, how he's dealing with his investors. It's weird. It feels like it's financial to me. Mm. And a lot of what that guy does feels financially motivated. It's weird. It's like he's obsessed with, and even though he tries to look like he's not, I don't buy, I don't buy it. Yeah. Yeah. But he does throw out some good stuff out there, but almost just to be controversial sometimes. I don't know. And I also, don't, yeah, you're never quite sure how much is coming from him. So I would encourage yeah. everyone to go to Good Lion TV. He's on about his third YouTube channel now because he keeps getting deleted. Right. I'll put the link below and you can okay. see it because it's worth watching. Okay. Now, on a similar one, which I've been sent this from loads of things, but they did discuss it in their interview as well. Now, I'll, it might take me a little while to get this out. So don't panic when I start saying this. It's about the truckers. And yep. When I'm talking about the truckers, I'm not talking about the actual truckers who are out there yep. doing this, the most amazing stuff. We're yep. looking at the organisers of it and why they do it. So what they've now shown is that their logo um, for the whole organisation thing is six yep. is a version of 666. Yep. And also it includes the Dove of Freedom symbol in black and red of the devil and the marketing company that did their logo have def looked like to have satanic links. Uh -huh. So there's a lot of issues about the organizers of it. So we're not talking about the truckers ourselves. We're talking about the agenda for behind it. So can we, I, or have you already asked and things about the agenda behind yeah, it? I it did. Various. Yeah. So I got that it was nefarious and planned a long time ago, nefariously. Mm. And that's why in the Illuminati deck, so there's this tarot deck, sort of like a mock-up tarot deck called the Illuminati tarot. And uh, it actually has a trucker's convoy, but it's actually a trucker's strike card. Yeah. Okay, so it all of these things have been planned. And this was one of the planned things. And here's what's interesting. They never show the logo. So I've never seen the logo. So that's really funny. Okay, so first of all, who says that's the logo they're using? Do the truckers even use the logo? Do you know what I mean? Like, where where did you see the logo? Where well, it's they on the, the whole website, which is the, the website that they advertise as the one everyone to go to to actually okay. get the information about it. It's on there. Yep. So I think it's like, you know, it, it it's a bit like, a football team the players have no, no. idea what the agenda of the chairman yeah, and yeah. manager are exactly okay yeah. so all of that i took so i looked into it and what i got was everybody uh, everybody now now everybody's gonna have to hold on to their socks here but i got a long time ago soros who they've been linking it back to okay that was rounded up a long time ago and uh, also, he probably left the Earth plane quite a while ago, and his sons and or relatives have been propping up his image. Okay, but then even that image or that entity or whatever they were doing there got rounded up. Uh, that whole family got shut down. Now, that was something we were looking at that a year ago, at least. Exactly. And it, it was a kind of being talked about quite a bit then okay so if that's the case couldn't they be using that to um like because they want to pretend like it's like they're playing out the movie right yeah. so part of the movie is that the truckers thing was planned a long time ago so we're all going to probably find that out in the disclosure okay but what i got was the truckers took it and they made it something different Exactly, so that they changed of, the energy yeah. and attention, yeah. Instead of bringing the hate and bringing yeah. the anger, which was the original idea, was they were going to be hateful and angry. They would organize these truckers and they would shut down the whole country so nobody could get anything. Weirdly, you're barely seeing a dent in the shelves here, okay? But that's here. Okay, I don't know what's happening in Ontario, but nobody's writing me yet telling me how empty all the shelves are, because there's still truckers trucking around food. It's not all of the truckers, okay? And so, so they meant it to be a strike and have the um, big operators in on it, which they're not. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the unions aren't, they're not okay with it. They're even speaking out against it, some of them. So it's interesting, right? So individuals got involved and the whole energy of it changed. 
And that's what I got before. So the thing got hijacked by yeah. the good guys, like a lot of things. But let's have a look at why would they leave that logo? Because that's a bit weird, but it's almost too obvious. Because if you think about why on earth would they really, if it really was? Well, I don't know. It is obvious because I'd, I'd not seen it today either. And I've been following all the trucker stuff and you've been following yeah. the trucker stuff in a lot of detail yeah. and I haven't. But then I got sent it by two different sources. And then yeah. I saw Nick and Michael Jaco yeah. talk about it. I was yeah. like, wow. So I went and had a look and I was yeah. like, bloody hell. But to me, it was almost a bit like we were speaking about with the um you know the legislation beforehand it's like my god it's so easy to get carried over in the emotion and yeah. forget you know that saying the devil's in the detail yeah yeah but are they are they signaling for us to notice that exactly that's so what we I'm don't thinking. forget to look those things up and we don't just jump on board we go looking at okay wait a minute their logos uh, they're signaling demonic. Okay, so I got a feeling, like I said, this is a psychological war and we're in the middle of it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it was planned in the past. They're using, here's what's funny. They're using the money from, uh, like it's funded by Soros, literally. Yeah. But that's because they got his money right? Well, they got all those guys' money. Okay, so we've got the six of, okay, so it's been shifted and changed. It's been shifted and changed. Here's what, who's actually doing it now. So the world, so people that want the world to make it, make the world a better place. Here's what, I really think we're on to um, the idea, because this nine is, I think they're trying to shove something in our face, so we don't we can't, we have to, this guy stays diligent till the 11th hour. He never lets up, like he's ready to battle, even though he's had all of these battles, he's still like, okay, bring it. I got one more left in. I got a feeling that's us. And I got a feeling that's what we're meant to stay. We got to stay on top of things, right? So you even bringing it up, mm. uh, Jayco and that other fellow bringing it up, that's good. That's good. This has been the theme of the whole of it tonight is stay diligent, yep. stay diligent. Yes, yep. absolutely celebrate the wins. I agree with that, but stay yep. diligent. Yeah. And as you were saying that, I, I got that exact thing. So stay. So this, this card's really like yeah. thinking mentally aware. So you can just see that it's like on guard. Okay. He's on guard and uh, a judgment, okay? So be ready to call anything out that looks like BS. Yeah. Absolutely. Like just, yeah. it's unfortunate, but it's just part of training ourselves not to get lazy. Yeah. Because we humans are, we're late, we're all like that. I remember two, three years ago when Guy was saying, oh, they're taking all our rights away in the background, Janine, blah, blah, blah. I'd be like, mm-hmm. Yeah oh, well, I'm not doing anything bad anyway, so they can watch me all they want. It's like, really? I know, I can remember saying that. That's ridiculous that. that I said that. Like, no, they can't. And because if they did take that, they take everything. Yeah. They got Absolutely. everything. Yeah. But we're, we were like, uh, because it's too much hassle to fight about it. And nothing in nature survives like this. So I was having no. this conversation earlier with someone. So, you know, if you're a herd of deer and you're being attacked by a predator... Yep. You cannot let your guard down. And this all ties into the tuning into your intuition to know when the real danger has passed and when it hasn't. And if we're all getting these feelings and we might label it as negative or, you know, being down about good news and yep. things, it's not. It's because there's something in our in intuition is saying that we need to still be vigilant. And don't worry, everyone, this is my incense stick because I'll get loads of comments about a ghost wafting through. There might be a ghost in there, but it is my incense stick. Um, so yeah, that's a really good theme. Um, so and another really good question by one of my friends, Joseph, that emails me some really good questions. He asked about holy water. What is it really? Ooh, so the church religion has obviously splashed it on at christenings, baptisms, wedding rings, etc. So can we ask whether holy water is good or bad that was a really interesting question 
That, that is good. That's brilliant. Thank you, Joseph. Keep them coming in. Talk about questioning everything. Okay, so there's hidden elements in it. And that cards what it actually is. So that's interesting. That's really different than what you would think holy water would be like, like a blessing, but this card's aggressive. Mm. And uh, it, it has something to do with, well, the guy's shielding his heart center. Okay, so in or so the thing's interesting. So the card, it's like he's a cancer. That's why he has that crescent moon. Cancer people, and in particular, cancer men, are known to be really heartfelt. Well, women as well, but women are allowed to show it. And in cult culturally, in the past in particular, men weren't allowed to show all those feelings. So it was really hard. It was thought of to be really hard to be a cancer or any water sign male. Okay, so this guy is covering all his heartfelt feelings with armor mm -hmm. and he's going out there. And sometimes that's necessary. Like warriors have to do it right now. We all have to do it. Do you know what I mean? But it's interesting that holy water would have something to do with shielding people's heart center. Wow. Wow. Right. So, uh, or bringing out aggression or, and, or uh, an element of humanity. That's definitely not mm. what you, think it would be doing it would be opening people up or healing them or cleansing exactly. them this card is definitely not those things wow. so that's really interesting well done great question yeah, yeah. you know it is lovely to see this sort of questioning everything but in a constructive i way. love it yeah and of course we'll take it too far at first we'll go overboard exactly like when we'll you learn to drive, you steal like this and then once you do it you go like yeah that. <laughs> so yeah yeah, it'll take a while and you'll drop people, pick them back up again. Da, da, da. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Talking of which then always nicely led on. Um, so there was something that um, Project Camelot posted today, which was quite interesting, saying that um, the white hats, one of their main strategies throughout the last two years has been the one of the ways they're misleading the dark is to feed misleading information to the really big truthers out there. And some of that has been very relevant recently. So can we ask if that's still a strategy? Is that still happening? interesting you should say that yeah i get it absolutely is mm. so it absolutely is yeah so it, interesting you should say that because i i send a lot of really interesting emails i get and i send them along to jean claude who's well he's very balanced he's um an Aries with a Libra moon. So that's the opposite. So Libra. So for lifetimes, he was probably a judge, a lawyer, or a very educated and really, really balanced, maybe even a diplomat. This lifetime, he's learning to be a warrior. That's Aries. Okay, so he's in opposition. I'm an opposition sun moon as well. So we were born on full moons. But anyway, so I send it to him because his Libra moon doesn't isn't as emotion and as emotionally brought into things as my Scorpio moon. So if I think something's a little weird, but it's really good intel, I send it to him to look at. And several things he sent me back and said, okay, I looked into this website, doesn't even exist anymore. Do 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 do. They haven't put anything out since 2021. Da, da, da. Just today I sent him something and it turned out it was a total red herring or like lie. But yeah. somebody sent it to me who's been sending me stuff. So I'm like, hmm, they're trying to do that even to me and or to everybody who's out there with a voice. Yeah, so you're absolutely right. But they're absolutely doing that. Yeah. You, you bet they are. And uh, uh, all kinds of stuff, because that card's like fear mongering. Mm -hmm. And I, I really believe a lot of the stories, and I'm not saying people aren't, having big issues with uh, batches of uh, these things. I'm not saying that, they are for sure. 
But I don't think in the numbers they're talking about, and I don't think it's going to happen in the numbers. I think the booby trap batches are smaller than reported. And so I think that's another campaign where they're smearing because that'll help them because they, they prevented a lot of that. The, the good guys, if they knew that was, they wouldn't let that happen on mass. That's my belief, but that's just my belief. Mm -hmm. But I've been getting that that's also a big smear campaign on the other side. So there's a whole does lot mean, of you know, Does that mean, Janine, that you're getting that they say the insurance companies reporting 40% increase in deaths in the 18 to 65? Are you getting that that's wrong then? Well, or exaggerated, like because you've got a question all info right now. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. If they can, like, so we know how they can, like, look what they did. And uh, like, I still got family members who like literally believe every single word the mainstream media is saying, and they yeah. believe that the uh, hospitals are overwhelmed, even though we've had people going there, showing you they're empty half the time, they say they're overwhelmed. And we've also discovered that a lot of those video clips of supposed overwhelmed, first of all, you'd never be legally allowed to video with ill people behind you, you didn't get their permission. Okay, exactly. so it turns out they're dummies back there, and they're not even real humans in the beds, all kinds of, like, it's gone off the scales on both sides. So yeah. I say, like you got to do the spiritual thing when you're being fooled on all sides. You have to spiritually walk in your personal truth, what res resonates inside you and where your heart goes and what feels right. You have to learn to find your personal center. You can't look outside yourself for answers mm -hmm. right now. You mm -hmm. have to just touch base inside. Your soul will tell you the answer. Mine has my whole life, uh, you know, like, Lots of us have their, our whole life, but a lot of people out there don't uh, trust themselves to do that. But their selves will tell them if they start working on listening for the voice. It's more yeah, of a no, I, I completely agree. It's really, really hard. Yeah. On that note, then, moving on to Greece. So I had no idea personally that it was so bad in Greece. So apparently they're still having to wear this outside. And two, if you go into shops and they have to show their green passport, um, and they're fining people over 60, 100 euros a month if they're not fully this. It's absolutely awful over there. Uh, they're showing on the news that all the deaths are by un things. So fear, fear, fear. So can we ask um, what the cards have got to say about Greece, and is there going to be a reprieve for them soon? Yeah, this is upside down. So that's a real hot spot for harsh. So it's it's probably as harsh as, I don't think that's being exaggerated by much there with that kind of card. Uh, so we've got strength in the middle. So they're still strong. They must be finding ways that maybe sending people to get their groceries or, so there's a, probably a large, really strong amount of people still holding out because that card says actually, they're still holding out, but it's but it's definitely wearing them down and they're at the wits end with it. Well, that would make sense, right? Here's the near future, victory. Okay, so some kind of, she brings people to justice. It might've already started somehow with that card because it's already in the work, that guy's already moving on it. Uh, we'll, we'll uh, be a big victory for these guys so they're going to be victorious the humans uh because of justice being served probably already in the background started right so i'm thinking once things come out of what's been going on which maybe we should look at because it's kind of getting to a place where we need that oh absolutely let's look at that yep. let's definitely look at that one of our internets is a bit dodgy it keeps freezing but it's Oh, Keep okay. At the moment. Might be mine, actually. I might need a booster or something. I know. Well, mine mine is in my office here. I'm wired in. I don't work on Wi-Fi out here. I'm wired in. And this yeah. week, again, I had this problem a little while ago, I think I said to you, where my Zooms kept crashing and things. 
and the internet kept going. Now it's hardwired in and we're next to our father. And this week it's gone really funny again, both the Zoom and the internet together. Weird. Weird. Okay. Da, na, 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 na. Yeah. Oh, it just occurred to me, maybe that Elon Musk story that was exaggerated has something to do with something that's going to happen. It's like maybe they were, they planted the story so we can expect things to affect our internet. Or yeah. Interesting. I just yeah. had that pop in. Yeah. Okay. So what are we asking? So we're asking, um, oh gosh, which one were we on? Oh, um, we were we were going to ask about because it led on to say, look, we need something to happen. Are we going to? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We need what, what the heck? Yeah. Yeah. Good one. <laughs> I'm having a senior moment there. So am I. It's just so many <laughs> things going on and so many, so much different things and different. You're areas. not even close to a senior, honey. Oh, no way. Very much getting there. <laughs> oh. uh, OK, let's see. Two of swords waiting and the night. So we still got this careful waiting. Car oh my goodness, right? So this card's ready for action though, anytime. Mm. Carefully watching, carefully watching. Uh, lots of uh, booby traps. They've been putting out fires all over the place. So they're probably still some active deep state type activity going on here and there. It doesn't look very organized though. This card's kind of dysfunctional. So just throw in whatever they got left. You know what I mean? Yeah. Out, like little fires all over the place. They've been working on it. So it's, we're so close to the end here with that card. We got the death card. So this is in the past. So it's been a long, hard haul. You bet, you bet. So we've got the five is the next thing. So this card is temporary setbacks. Okay, so, but of the very short variety, that's good. And then we've got military and moving out of troubled water. Now, another thing that tweaked in my mind, when you were saying that they're putting um, info out there, I got a feeling that thing we read on about it has to be another illness. I yeah. was thinking about that for days, like, because that really doesn't sit good. I, I don't think they'll use that. Yeah, I think that was put out there. So when it does happen, it'll be way better than that. That's what I get. And this, this card tells me that too. Uh, moving out. Of, they're trying to make it as least like that as possible. But that would, I think that was the worst case scenario. Yeah. Okay. So, and, and I feel like all of their carefulness is to get it so it goes like smoother for us. And yeah. I, I really have been getting that that's their intention. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Wow. Yes. So this, this yes. is crazy. This is crazy times we're in. It really is crazy times. So it's really heating up. So I've had um, some information from people in Romania, very close, because I have three Romanians living with me, two dogs mm. and a cat, all absolutely oh. amazing. Um, so in Romania, there's a couple of things. It, uh, the, lo the restrictions are really hard and um, there's a lot of carers that go and work in other countries from Romania and they can't go, so they can't work unless they've had this. But no. I also saw today quite a few things coming out, supposedly saying that US troops have now gone into Romania. So can we ask the cards, first of all, is that true that US troops have gone into Romania? Uh, it's a strategy, so I'm getting a yes. It's a strategy, but not just U.S. troops. They also got uh, wise galactic helpers, kind of. That's what I've been calling them. So old soul wisdom overseeing them because something big was going on that they, they thought they needed help with. Uh, do you know what was going on there? No. 
No, I don't. I just know I've just had people emailing me saying that they've been having a really hard time. Um, yeah. They've been stopping the movement of people sort of going to care the carers. Um, so, yeah, it, 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 and they've got lots of restrictions there. So does that imply that that's the, the that movement of troops or who and whoever else is in their best interest? Yeah, I think it has to do with tunneling and that substance we talk about, because that's not well aspected with that. So they're trying to, they discovered some of that maybe. Wow. And they're trying to route it out. So I don't, can't really say the words, but. No, yeah, I think everyone knows what Humans yeah. for, and especially little tiny ones. Yeah, something going on there where they're finishing up some of that because this card says they might have thought they had it all but there was yeah. something they were missing something there so they had to go in on it so for the remainder because that I, card was in the past which is like so they discovered something that looked like it was trouble yeah judgment wake up call so they had to go in again so could we just ask the cards some indication of time scales for the people in Romania as to when they might see this being lifted for them. So we've got two fours and a five right across here. Four, so I'm thinking four weeks. Yeah. And uh, they, yeah, they're do, it's literally like a battleground right now. So they still got deep state or dark cult players there. And they're yeah. routing them out. And then the breakthrough comes in four. So let's hope that stays, but it's probably more like weeks. Yeah, okay. And I think there's underground stuff going on. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. sending love to everyone, two legged and four legged yeah. in Romania. Yeah. Keep those animals safe as well. Yeah. So we spoke about this a year ago. It is this weekend, it's the Super Bowl in America. Um, and we've got the Cincinnati Bengals against the Los Angeles Rams. Now, someone sent me a video today of Tim Ballard, who runs Operation Underground Railroad, you know, saving all the children, yep. did an interview on Fox News highlighting that the Super Bowl is one of the main um, transporting people that don't yep. want to be transported around events. So yep. that was amazing that that was on Fox News because it certainly wasn't last year. Yep. Um, so can we ask, is there um what have the cards got to tell us about what the significance of the super bowl is this weekend and if there's something good that's going to come out of this okay so i'll just mention that i uh, ashley and i deep dived on it oh so brilliant. oh friday yeah and we did it last year too and it was yeah. really bad and it was there was going to be activity last year but a lot of it would be shut down but a lot of it still existed this year look a lot less but there was still activity because you, they just can't sh t put out all the fires like there's yeah there's it's you know independence even who just there's still minions of the deep in the dark cult and even if yeah. they're the head of the snake's gone doesn't mean they stop doing their dirty work right so it did look but interesting we went through all of the um because we always get that those half time things are rituals you better like yeah. just look at last year's it was absurd we looked at every one of the players and so it's all hip-hop and ashley and i both love hip-hop and rap even like real scrappy like i love snoop dogg so like you know what i mean judge me if you want but i love it you know i just love it and uh, that's what brought ashley and i even closer together we have the very same musical taste so as friends, we're like, we love going on road trips, listening to really loud uh, Snoop and stuff. Anyway, uh, every one of them are old rappers, right? And we looked through all of them and uh, a, a whole lot of them, very surprising, 
had got out of the game and were on the good guys side. Wow. Brilliant. And it shows, it shows in the commercial. We, we pointed out some things in the commercial that are really, even the least likely that you think would be the worst Dr. Dre was the best of the bunch. Wow. He was a, like a double agent working for wow. the good, pretending to be bad. Yeah. Crazy stuff. So you got to go watch that video. That was our last deep dive. But uh, we, we got that this year, a lot of it was going to be different. It was going to be different. Lots yeah. of signaling, but Eminem is definitely bad, bad news. Wow. Okay. Really bad. Yeah. So that's interesting. Okay. So let's have a look. And also, Eminem. we got he was gone too. Mm. And it actually shows when you watch the pre commercial of it, of what the halftime show will be like, sort of like uh, they give you a little teaser of it. You, they actually clearly show because they show him back in the past and together in the same shot. And then he, he disintegrates. And then sort of this guy that doesn't even look like him anymore, probably his clone or his double. He's left. Oh, yeah, you have oh to see it. God. It's full of signaling, full of signaling. But let's have a look at how is it going to, you know, we looked at it last week, but let's see this week. Did they get any more of those guys? Did they? And I'm, I'm it's brilliant that they're talking about it. That's what I thought. It was really brilliant. And he was talking about the sniffer dogs that can sniff out the electrics that are showing all the thing. It was brilliant. Wow. Mm. Okay. So, yeah, so they're all over it. So the good, that's our good military all over it in really unique ways, dressed like uh, regular folks. And they're also pr probably pretending to be people looking for trafficked people. Right, yeah. so because we're doing it in really unique ways. Okay, yeah, it was very. It's a very stressful time because it is a lot of work for because they do really gear up those activities, right? Okay, way way sh the light's been shone on it so much they're even bringing it into Fox News. I mean that's amazing. Yeah, it's they're gonna they're gonna really go a long way to getting this to rebirth into something more wholesome and not so disgusting because that's yeah. brilliant because we talk about things coming out in the mainstream and i know fox news yeah. fox news but the fact that they're doing that a lot of the general public are now going to be really on the lookout for suspicious yeah. activities exactly i'm thinking you're we're 70 percent rid of that Brilliant. in that and you know of course that's a huge amount but it, we need to get it a hundred percent but i mean Absolutely. that you no know, that's just further work as the years go on we're gonna we're gonna be noticing and yeah an eye on and it'll get more in the mainstream and i believe the mainstream's all gonna change really really soon yeah. i mean look what happened with cnn but did yeah. you hear who bought it no a really big trump fan billionaire who's a huge Trump supporter. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. He bought that's, CNN. That's yeah. Right. Yeah. There. Confiscated money from the dark hats to actually yeah. buy it. That would be even better, wouldn't it? That would yeah. be really new boss. Better. Yeah. They got a new boss. This is going to be a riot. Oh, uh, so probably, um, let me have a look, see what else is on the leave. Oh, I can't, I've got two more questions then. The next one is about Israel. So obviously we're hearing horrible things um, from Israel about um, people passing over after of all ages after this. So can yeah. we ask what the cards are saying about Israel? And um, I suppose a two part question, Janine. One, how true is that? And secondly, is there some reprieve coming? Because they have really had it so tough throughout, haven't they? Yeah. Hmm, it's weird. This is the past. So that seems like yes to the, is it true? Mm. Uh, but this is the present. So something really good just happened there that I don't know if we've heard about yet, because this is a surprising positive turnaround. And you're asking about, are they going to turn around? There's mm. some big surprising turnaround happening there. Like right away, it looks like. And then we got the strength card in the middle that'll really bring them out of there because these are the three across this is happening right now. So I guess we'll hear about it or 
it's an ongoing thing. It, if anybody knows what we're talking about, write us below. Because you know, like, like you said, we're not really getting the real news from these places unless people write us, right? So there's something going on. And, uh, but, but uh, you know, it's going to take a while to heal from everything that's happened there. It's been, it's been really, really, mm. it was a real hot spot for activity of, of the yucky kind, as Ashley would say. Yeah, it's going to take time to heal from what these guys did to that place. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so, yeah, so Hulk goes out to them. So the final question then. We talk a lot about the veil thinning. Yeah. And, and my interpretation of that is, is you know, um, us all being able to see what true reality is really like, not the one that's being forced on us. So can we ask the cards in terms of are we at a critical stage now of the veil thinning? And is that part of what's going to happen to disclose the truth? So here's what we're doing right now we're trying to pick through information and we're noticing or trying to notice when we're being fooled so it's like it's trickery all over mm. and here's the what you're asking which is the truth coming out and in my opinion the real truth would be them fessing up to what they've been doing in the background mm. and and tribunals and stuff because it, it would make a lot of sense that that is going on based in a whole bunch of things, but it would be good to get some real clarity on that, mm. right? So, and in the past, so much has been kept secret, good and bad guys, but we're kind of asking more about the good stuff. Mm. Like, like, tell us what's really going on, people. Okay, so that card, and then this is in the middle of the right now, which is our, we're, there's still a lot of worry around, worrisome situations, uh, like, you know, all kinds of, uh, yeah, scare it still feels really scary but this card does worry about things that don't need to be worried about and that could even be like thinking like there's going to be these systems put in place soon as the uh, mandates drop they're going to put these systems in where they um, calculate what a good citizen you are like they do in China like are you kidding me would like for them to even say they're going to do that and just do it on the sly mm. makes uh, makes it a joke that there's, they can't even pretend to be a democratic um, society anymore. That's the biggest joke I ever heard. Okay, so I, that's when I really go, this has to be a movie because mm. they can't get away. How can they get away with that? How would all of the other politicians not yell about that if they're passing stuff like that on the sly? Yes, they have been doing that, but that's brazen. Okay, so that's where I go. These guys are pushing it in your face so you wake up and you pay attention. It's not really going to happen. And that's what that card looks like. It's a whole bunch of stuff we think is going to happen. But this card's worrying about most of it doesn't happen when this card comes. Here's the outcome. So the good parts, so around the corner here. This is brilliant. Um, I'm starting to think the story about having to go through another illness lockdown could be a planted or, or an exaggeration or even the the good guys trying to prepare us and then make it better than that. I don't know. I got a feeling there's something off about that. Yeah. Or, or maybe we've shifted it already by just deciding because this outcome's brilliant and it's even yeah. financially able. I consistently get, we're going to be better off in the coming years, not worse. Yes. There's going to be. Okay. So I'll just say, I'll just say this. After 35 years of reading for clientele for a year, like sometimes for their whole life, like some for th all those years, some of them I started out reading and I'm reading their kids' kids, okay, or have had not been doing until I stopped reading personal readings. What I noticed was my, I guess, guide, and I believe it's the spirit world, so the universal knowing, okay, so the person's higher self talks to me about their life. That's what it feels like I'm doing. I believe that, and they all talk differently. So every psychic's different. Like Michelle Fieldings has a whole different vibe to her stuff. Gets really good stuff though. This person gets really good stuff. Uh, 
Octava, Octava. I can never say her name right, but I'm not oh, trying to. Yeah. Yeah, I really like her work and I think she gets really good stuff. Okay, but my energy always, and this could be part of my personality, projects the big picture to get you through the bad stuff. Mm. Okay, so some people might say, okay, but I, I, so I'm overly positive. But I think the soul essence says, if you sit around believing the worst case scenario, you're going to create that. So yeah. my soul voice always wants to get you looking at what could be and the best case scenario and where we could be and or most likely will be if we work on this this and this that's always what I get so just to clarify and I believe it and I've done that my whole life and it works but uh you, yeah. you can't you can't um get into the down in the dumps for days and days you'll just set yourself back you're just gonna set you have to stay the big vision and diligent to your soul work and not take it the world personally. That's hard for people to do. You can't feel like a victim with the way I get stuff. So I, I believe that's where I'm getting my information. So it, it has that slant to it, but I think it's been helping and I hope it's been helping some people. And I, you know, that's what I'm trying to do. I think it's with. really important. I mean, you know, if you believe in the law of attraction if you believe in manifestation if you believe in thoughts become things thoughts have energy anything like that then it's all about where you put your focus it doesn't mean you're yeah. going head in the sand and we haven't been going our head no. in the sand but we no. don't want to stay on the negative because you know energy flows where attention goes and i truly believe that so yeah yeah well lots and lots and lots covered tonight thank you so much i hope that's been helpful it's been really helpful everyone um emailing stuff in i'm a bit like janine please don't email me the whole stuff i've i, I know about the side effects of this i know about that so if it's not something new on that um but absolutely about what's happening where you are what you're seeing on the ground what you're feeling etc is really really important information because we're just not getting that from anyone else so thank you so much to everyone that's sending all that in yep have a lovely week janine and yeah. um looks like a lot of canada is opening up is that true uh as of midnight last night so right at midnight, uh, I get to go to restaurants. Uh, I'm thinking by the 14th or the 11th, I can't remember, um, in a few days. And I don't know why they do it this way, but the masks can all come off. Uh, I'm, I haven't been wearing one anyway, so the heck with it. I can go to theaters. I don't have to show uh, ID. You don't have to show your, your papers. Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. And Alberta was the first to do it, even though Saskatchewan's posturing about it. They keep giving deadlines when they're going to do it. Uh, Alberta just went boom. That Kenny, he's just, yeah, our, our premier or whatever. He, uh, he's a snaky snake and he's just yeah. trying to stay in, in there because, you know, he just goes with the wind. Yeah. Like, uh, and he's been known to pull it right out from under our noses too. So we don't, uh, we're not trusting him. I'm doing it anyway and the heck with it. And um, I'm waltzing into some restaurants uh, today for sure. I'm going to go sit in a cafe. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and I'm sure everyone would be supporting the ones that have been most yeah. supportive throughout this whole thing. So yeah, yeah. fantastic. Really, really yeah. good news. Enjoy it. Good. So yeah you, you all deserve it and let's just manifest out there that this is going to come to everywhere really soon you have bet. a brilliant, brilliant week thank you so much Janine thank you so much everyone who watches and supports us because it you know it, this is a massive grief effort um so yeah take it care is. bye